Good morning. It is Tuesday, April the 27th, 2021. And for this Take 5 segment this morning, I'd like to share with you a verse from the book of Proverbs, chapter number 27 and verse number 8. The Bible says, As a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. It's very important that we realize that God wants us to be in our place, doing what he has asked us to do, and do that faithfully. I read the story of John Frederick Parker. He was one of the original members of the Metropolitan Police Department in Washington, D.C. He didn't have a great reputation. He was actually reprimanded a few times for sleeping while on duty or also being drunk while on duty. But even though he had this past that maybe wasn't of the highest esteem, he was still assigned to guard duty for President Abraham Lincoln. And on the, the night that President Lincoln went to that Ford's Theater and he watched that play, Our American Cousin, about halfway through, I guess, uh, that Mr. Parker, the police officer, assigned to guard the president, decided to leave the theater and to go to a tavern nearby with some other people there at the theater. And of course, whenever John Wilkes Booth entered into that theater cubicle, there was no one that was guarding the president. And of course, we know that he shot and killed President Lincoln. That was on April the 14th, 1865. Now, later on, Mary Lincoln, Mary Todd Lincoln, the president's wife, uh, found out who it was that was supposed to be on guard duty and went and talked to Mr. Parker about his absence. And she blamed him for her husband's death. And his response was this, I did wrong, I admit, and have bitterly repented. John Parker failed to stay in his place where he should have been, and because of that, tragedy followed. Uh, dear friend, it's so important for you not to get distracted uh, with life. It's, not, it's so important to not get bored with life. Uh, I think that's what happened to Mr. Parker. He was probably bored there in the theater. He got distracted with this temptation to go with a few other people and drink at the tavern. It's, it's so important not to let temptations to cause us to not to be in our place. And God has given us all a place, whether it's in our homes as a father or a mother. We need to be found faithful in our place. And maybe in our job. It's so important for Christians to have a testimony of faithfulness to our co-workers and our bosses and employers that's so important. Be diligent about that. And of course, also, it's so important to be faithful and diligent in the church. God has instituted and ordained the local New Testament church for his children to belong to, to be faithful servants in. And he's given everybody, I think, talents and abilities to make that church a church that would represent Christ and his love and to a darkened world. So be found faithful. Don't be like a bird that wandereth from her nest. And of course, sometimes when we're not faithful and we wander away from the places that God has put us, a tragedy can occur. So let's be diligent in fulfilling whatever assignments God has given us in life. It can literally be a matter of life and death. I think about David. David was supposed to be out at war as kings normally would at a certain time and instead he was at home looking out from a rooftop under another rooftop and saw Bathsheba and we know that chain of events and sin and wickedness that happened and tragedy as a result of David not being in his place. So today on Tuesday for the Snake Five, be in your place and be diligent and honor God by doing so. Dear Lord, I pray you bless all of us that we would Realize the importance of being diligent and faithful in the place that you've put us in life, whether it's work or at home or in church. Lord, help us to 
Just be faithful and, and diligent. I pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless. Have a great day today on this Tuesday, this sunny, warm Tuesday, April 27th.